Jo and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Today's video is my wrap up video for January and I have to say I didn't read that much. I did read though, but I just don't have time at all and the next month are going to be way worse because it's exam time and then I'm going to take my final exam and then I will graduate and <laughs> it's going to be very stressful and I don't know if I can upload uh, more videos than my wrap up video so I apologize in advance but of course I did read at first is this little cute version of A Hunchback of Notre Dame that I also mentioned in my last video. Then I read Champion by Mary Lou and I don't have that book here because I borrowed it from the library so I'm just going to blend in a picture. The last book is probably my favorite book from this month and it's an illustrated history of notable shadow hunters and denizens of downworld by Cassandra Clare and it's illustrated by Cassandra Jean? Jean? I don't know how to pronounce her name and it's awesome it's just the best book ever I, I love it so much um, just how the cover looks it's beautiful and then and the inside is like it's beautiful and it's just like an extra book for the Shadowhunter series but it's still it's so amazing and I love it to death but I also did start some more books because why not so at first we have Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen. I started this because a friend of mine told me to read it because I said I wanted to read the book first before I watched the movie. In the end we did watch the movie before I finished the book. Um, I kind of just bought this one because I think the cover just looks so pretty. <laughs> also Pride and Prejudice is my favorite movie at this time and um, wow it's like the version with Kira Knightley that movie I'm talking about because there are like I don't know five movie adaptations I don't know but this one is my with Kira Knightley is my favorite then I also started the ninth book of the Song of Rising Fire in the German version and I'm not going to explain that again because don't want to. I started it, I read 200 pages. Wow! And I think that is the book that I'm going to finish next. I don't know, I just really want to, but there is so much stuff going on. I probably finish that in like, I don't know, three months if I'm good. So yeah, maybe I'm going to do some other videos than wrap up videos because it's like kind of boring if I just don't read anything or maybe I'm just going to talk about what I have been up to as my wrap up video I don't know yet a book I started in December and I haven't finished yet is Jane Eyre and I also just bought it because it looks so pretty also because it's mentioned a few times in one of Cassandra Clare's book and <laughs> yeah I don't know, I just, like, I like the story so far, because it's really cool, but I just like this writing style is so... Nah, I don't know what to call it, but I just can't get into that book. So maybe I just put it away for some more time, and then I'll see you later. But what else happens in my life? Well, you see, I met some new people on Twitter and... They are super super nice and I really love them and they're just so sweet and they both are uh, artists and I love their art so much and 
also I, I, I actually met them because they draw drew they they drew some pictures um, from Songwood in the Sea, and as you know, that is my favorite fan fiction together with the intern. And then I just kind of complimented them, and then we just started talking, and then we didn't stop. And I really like them. I also started a journal where I'm going to write down every positive thing that has happened to me because I tend to just think about the negative things in my life and be like, oh, another bad grade, or oh, uh, I missed my train, or uh, this and that didn't go as I wanted it to, and blah. So I decided to focus or rather to force myself to focus on the good things so I write them down. Also it's kind of nice to see at the end of the year what good things did happen throughout the month and you know, I just like the idea. I also decided to learn Greek not because I'm such a huge language nerd, okay I kind of am, but it's because I need that when I'm going to university and I will need that there and I'm also really interested in learning new languages and why not start learning Greek when I will need it anyway, so... And now, the best thing that has happened this month. Sit down, breathe. Sandra Claire's Glee State of the Queen and Air and Darkness is out! Yes! <laughs> Finally! It is finally there. It's December 4th, 2018 and my body is ready for that book. There is so much things that are about to go down and I go, wow, I can wrap my mind around this and I I am so excited for this book. You know, it's like, whew, it's kind of, well, it's kind of consuming my mind and I'm just like, oh my god, oh my god, there's so much stuff going to happen. and. I am really ready, but at the same time I'm not because it's Cassandra Clare and there's a high possibility that this has blah, blah, blah. there is a high possibility that this is a good ending. But like possibly more like a bittersweet ending. Like I don't know because so many people died already and they're all going to die so many more people and or at least I'm really really sure that they are going to die some people i hope not but like she also already destroyed my heart with the ending of lot of shadows so we'll see but i'm super excited if you like this video please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to me and comment down below what was your favorite moment in january bye